In both our cities, there's been some quite big changes in terms of the resources that we have and the provision we have for healthy activities. In Sunderland, we took our partners to see some of the work that's ongoing at our aquatic centre. Primary schools who were involved in the project participate in their swimming lessons there. So we went along and saw the swimming lessons and got involved with those. We did some mini water polo sessions with our local swim kids. So they were being taught by international sort of coaches and players. And we had three sessions back to back. We had 30 kids in each session and they were all from our Learn to Swim programme. Every teacher has a, a little iPad yeah. that, that's put, that they put on poolside with them and every single child is, is registered on those apps for every class yeah. and what they do is every time they achieve something within the class, they would put it off. We also talked to them about some of the work that we do in terms of using the excellent health facilities and the gym facilities that we have for well-being. So we talked about work that's been ongoing in terms of using things like gym facilities as prescription services. So people who have health challenges, not just young people, with adult populations too. And how now a lot of GP surgeries are on board with rather than prescribing medication or drug therapies, they're trying to prescribe exercise programs and support to do that and places like the aquatic center have been really keen to lead on that from the start and have got amazing provision in terms of training and staff who can support people who are trying to take a step towards living a healthier lifestyle. In San Nazaire they were very keen to show us the work that they've been doing building a new swimming pool complex. It's very different to our aquatic centre and has been really built with their own population and their particular requirements in mind. It's got several different pools within it. It's got pools which are deliberately very accessible to people with physical disabilities. It has programmes which are geared to people who, for various different reasons, might previously have found it difficult to access swimming sessions. So they're really rightly very proud of that. And we've shared some of their programme activities more widely with our own um, providers here back in Sunderland since we've come back from those visits. So that's been another useful benefit that we hadn't foreseen.